I'm Victoria Martin, I'm 29 years old and I'm a Senior Structural Engineer for Expedition Engineering. A key part of my role is working with our internal teams to uh, manage the delivery of projects. There's a really strong element of teamwork involved to really make sure that what we're proposing is the, the best solution. One of my proudest achievements to date has probably been my developing role on the Greek National Library, um, where I was responsible for the seismic design of the library. The building essentially uses a series of pendulums to ensure that the earthquake forces are reduced. An engineer's job doesn't really just stop as soon as the drawings go out the door. What you produce at the end of the day is, is a building. It's something that people interact with. It's quite something to be able to look at the skyline of the city around you and see things that you've helped put there. As a woman going onto site, there are definitely some challenges, not least the fact that most of the site operatives are often male. And I think the key thing is not to be intimidated by the fact that you're perhaps the only woman on site and instead just know that it makes you much more recognisable. Once I started my career as an engineer, I actually realised that that was what my grandfather had done for a large chunk of his life. There was a role that he played in, in getting me into this. There's quite a simple pleasure involved in being out on horseback. You're slightly at the mercy of a rather large horse and it's really important to get that communication between you and the horse so that you really understand what each other's trying to do and it's something that I'm really keen to keep in my life. My name is Sarah Underwood, I'm 21 years old and I'm a hire apprentice at Rolls-Royce. My job role entails working in the manufacturing engineering department. I work in different teams, I become a part of that team and I assist in any way I can. One of the most important things to do is keep good communication between the shop floor, ourselves and the design department. I love the fast-paced environment that I work in. It's different every day, there's always something new to work on. I find as an apprentice I can still have the opportunity to ask the questions that may sound a little bit silly but at times they can be the right questions to ask. I went to an all-girls school and when I went to college I was put into a class and I was the only female and during those two years I did struggle being the only girl in a male-dominated class. The questions of why are you doing this, this is a man's subject and it's just sticking up for yourself and believing that what you're doing is right for you. With Rolls-Royce, I've been looking at some of the tools we use to help promote STEM subjects. For me, I think we really need to promote engineering as a subject within schools from a much earlier age. Girls Engineering the Future is a group of young women in engineering and we are sharing our experiences with younger girls and getting them involved in engineering projects. It's really good to see them having fun whilst carrying out science experiments. I joined a sailing club recently in the, in the Yorkshire Dales and I go up there every weekend now and I sail with different people. For me, sailing is a really good way to improve teamwork. It's always really interesting when you get into a boat with a different person to see how that relationship is going to play out. You've got to work together. My name's Abby, I'm 26 years old and I currently work for Astrum in Stevenage as a spacecraft structures engineer. The ExoMars rover is the European Space Agency's first rover mission to Mars. It's due to launch in 2018, ultimately looking for signs of life as well as characterising the environment there. My job involves making technical decisions about the design developments on the rover structure. To design a Mars rover, you've got to think out of the box, but you've also got to be able to come up with that idea in your mind and then communicate it to other people. You end up sketching a lot of your designs out and creating 3D models on computers, so it is a very creative job. I always think it's really important to engage with the general public, show them that we are actually doing these exciting projects in Europe. 
I think the proudest moment in the project is obviously going to be when the rover actually rolls off its landing platform for the first time and its wheels touch the Martian soil. When I was doing my GCSEs I didn't really know what I wanted to do as a career, but at the time in the news was the Beagle 2 mission, Europe's first mission to Mars. And I saw that British engineers and scientists were working on this and thought, well, if that's engineering, then engineering sounds pretty cool. Currently quite into pyrography, which is a woodworking process. You basically burn designs into the surface of wood. One of the things I most enjoy about my job is being able to legitimately write Martian in technical reports. I don't think that will ever get old. My name is Mira Diemi, I'm 27 years old, I'm a lead aerospace engineer and I work for Atkins Bristol. I lead international engineers working in a range of fields. We work together towards integrating an autonomous taxi system onto the main landing gear. It actually works towards reducing the carbon footprint of the aerospace industry by providing electrical system to power the aircraft instead of using the main engines. The fuel pipe tool was developed in response to damages on aircraft. By having a tool, you're less likely to have damage, which leads to installation failures and occurs costs on the aircraft. When you're working with an international team, having more meetings or having more video conferences or just calling my colleagues to say, how are you, has made such a significant difference. As a CARES business founder, I came up with a strategy of how we can implement corporate social responsibility into the working culture. It provides people within the office to give back to the community and provide charitable donations. One of the most recent activities I've done in schools with children has been a water filter project and it's focusing on seeing how water can be managed in a sustainable way. I love inspiring the younger generation to implement change and just design and just think outside the box. I've been volunteering for about four years in a homeless shelter. The more I've done it, the more I've just enjoyed, enjoyed speaking to people, getting to know them. Winning the award would mean to me that I have a platform to actually enable more engineering change. I think I've been involved in quite a lot of sustainable projects. That is something that's key to the future of engineering. I'm Sarah Turnbull, I'm 21 years old. I'm an advanced practical apprentice for Rolls-Royce. I machine grade A critical rotating parts for aircraft engines. The machine that I'm currently working on is a Hermley. We work very closely with the manufacturing engineering team to make sure that all of the programs correct and if we have any problems it can be sorted straight away. It's amazing to think that when I see a plane flying overhead that there's a chance that I could have actually helped to make one of the parts that's in that engine. Some of the parts we make are really, really valuable. You need to be confident in your abilities. You need to really believe in what you're doing. As part of my apprenticeship, I attend Sunderland College once a week and I'm currently studying for an HNC in Manufacturing Engineering. It's good to go to college because it gives you a greater understanding of the work that you're doing. CAD is an essential part of modern day engineering because it gives you a view of the product before it's actually been made, which can then be transferred into a system to create a programme which will then make the parts on the machine. I've been bowling since I was 10 years old. You're a team and you constantly support each other. When I was younger, one of my close friends from bowling was diagnosed with leukaemia. Finding out that Heather had died was absolutely devastating. I decided that it would be a good idea to do something positive that will make everybody remember her and also to raise money for the charity. And so far we've raised in excess of £5,000. My name is Yasmin Ali, I'm 26 years old and I'm an Operations Engineer for Eon Exploration and Production. 
Since I joined a year and a half ago, and I've worked on loads of different projects with different departments, supporting the production platforms that E.ON operate in the North Sea. I've been working with the drilling department to complete the hydraulic fracturing of two newly drilled wells and building a computer model that predicts the behaviour of the wells. I think it's really exciting to be part of a team and a company that contributes to the security of the energy supply in this country. Going on site is one of my favourite parts of the job. So when you spend a really long time working on something in the office, it's very satisfying to then go there and see the results of your work. When I came to England, I was 11 years old and couldn't really speak very much English. And I was thrown into this completely new environment. And I think as a result of this experience, I'm a very flexible person and I can cope with most challenges. I have to be really a very good communicator to get the information that I need from the right people. I've always enjoyed comedy. I usually arrange the room, check the lighting, welcome the guests in and help with the merchandise stand. I absolutely love doing this because it's just so different. I think engineering has a masculine image. I'm willing to bet that any woman can enjoy life as an engineer and we just need more women to join the industry and get the ball rolling.